So in this video, we will continue building our enterprise network. In the last video, we built our campus network connected to the data center network, to L3 switch, put a firewall, put, wrote some policies for the users to access the internal servers. In this video, we are connecting the firewall to the internet edge router. And that edge router is going to be connecting to the ISP router and then the internet server. Our firewall policy will permit internet users to access our server and also internal users to access the outside server. For that, the NAT policies would look like this. We are going to define an object network with a corp NAT, which permits 10110 subnet to be NATed to a interface, which is this interface with an IP 200.11. And notice that this is just permitting 10.11, so only these users are allowed. This NAT object network is doing a NAT to a host, which is our internal host, this guy right here, its IP address is 10.101.111. Anybody coming from outside with the 200 address will get mapped to this guy. And so they will be able to come and access this guy. Now let's test this. This is an external server with a browser. And we write HTTPS coming to our server. Welcome to my training. It works. Now test the inside user going outside with a 100.111 address. This guy has got command prompt. And if I try to reach him, I am. And if I go to browser and type, and I'm able to access this server right here. So we've got from inside to outside, from outside to inside the connectivity through this firewall with these policies right here. Uh, word of caution is that these policies, when you write in the Cisco packet tracer, they may work or may not work. It's a buggy, you know, configuration, especially the NAT part. After you get this NAT working, you will have to write the policies. Remember that we have Corp2 data center policies. We've got the INET for the internet access policies, and then the access group, which permits the policies coming into the interface. So we have a policy for Corp interface, which is this guy coming in. These are the policies coming in Corp to DC. And these are the policies, INET policies coming in from for the interface outside, which is facing towards the internet. So INET policies are basically permitting TCP, ICMP, IP, any, any. So these are the policies that you would write. Always write it for the interface coming in so that you know what the interface is going to be expecting and processing. Once you write these policies and have these up NATs configured, your from inside to outside and outside to inside is good from a firewall and NAT perspective. The remaining portion is the connectivity, the routing. Your firewall should be receiving a default route which is E2 route coming from OSPF. So the edge router is running OSPF with default into OSPF. He's advertising default to the firewall and he's receiving it. Remember, we're getting the 10100 and 101 from 1011 and 1022 from our campus. So this default is getting received by the firewall from the edge router. Let's take a look at the edge router. The edge router OSPF is basically redistributing a static route, which is this guy, a default route, pointing towards 192.168.11, 192 
the address of the ISP right here. This could be a private address. And so this default route needs to be redistributed and also a default information originate needs to be used in OSPF for the firewall to receive that default route. Once that happens, everything can get routed to the internet. And on the edge router, you need BGP with a neighbor to your ISP. And that's right here, very straightforward. And on the ISP side, remember that we are using this transit link within our public address space. Typically, you would advertise your public space on the edge. The reason I'm not doing that is because it's a smaller setup and this guy is defaulting to him and he's got a default route coming into this guy. Let me show you the routing table for the ISP. He's getting BGP advertisement from the edge router. And that's how your routing is going to work. You would advertise this through the edge router. You're, ad you're advertising this guy and in the BGP should also have that network 200 command, which is again, I see uh, it's a probably bug because I did put it in. That's the reason why it's ad getting advertised. It is a little buggy, but uh, sometimes the configs will show up, sometimes they won't. But the reason you're seeing this network 201.1.1 in the ISP router is because there is a network statement which is not currently visible in the edge router at this point in time. So you would use the edge router to advertise this network. That's the buggy uh, portion of this packet tracer. The routing, the firewall is a little buggy. But overall, this tool gives you a great way to build and, and have a feel of an enterprise network from how the campus would talk to the data center and how the data center could be accessed from the outside and how the inside can go access the internet. Hope this helps.